Hi everyone, today in this video I'm gonna show you how to troubleshoot in C Linux policy if we change the listening port of HTTPD.service and also if we try to move files with different C Linux contexts set into the root directory where the server will retrieve the HTML files. Let's run the command C status to see the current settings loaded with C Linux. As you can see right now, the system is enabled with enforcing mode, which if the request to the system doesn't follow the policy rule set, the request will be refused and logged. We can set temporarily the system mode into permissive, but if we want to set it in a permanent way, we have to modify the configuration file related to C Linux. In particular, changing the C Linux properties with permissive. If we rerun the C status, we can see that the system, even after the reboot, it will be in permissive mode. In the httpd.com file, we can set the listening port. The default one is 80. In this video, we are going to run it with the port 82. Right now, the system is back to enforcing. If we check the status of HTTPD, there will be an error during the start due to C Linux policy. More in deep, if we want to look at the error, we have to run the command journalctl-xe. Here we can take a look at the error more in detail and we can see that it was blocked by C Linux. There is different way to resolve the issue. The fastest one is to enable temporarily C Linux mode to permissive. If now we restart the service, we can see that it will start without errors. Also now we are able to access the server index page or more resources. As soon as we reset the mode to enforcing and restart the service we will get same error. To resolve this problem without changing the mode of C Linux, we have to add the port 82 into the http underscore port underscore t contest type. If now we restart the service, we'll be able to access the server. Now we are going to see rapidly how to change context type of the files. If we go 
into the path of default root directory of HTTP, the, we can see that all the files that will be created into this folder will have this contact type httpd underscore sys underscore content underscore t If we create a file in another folder and move it into the previous folder, the context type will be different. To resolve it, we can copy the file with the command cp into the same folder. This file will get the right context. Let's try to access them. The file copied is accessible, but the original one will not be accessible. To resolve it, we have to use the command restore context, which will relabel the context type of the file, utilizing the default one of the directory. With the option dash uh, capital R and dash V, we will rerun the command in a recursive way and in a verbose way to have the log during the changes. If we try to access it, now we are able. If you like this content, please subscribe and like the video. See you in the future.